I believe we have our reporter on standby at MPC Main Press Center for us. Right, Daniel? Ryan, as we have been doing all day, let's uh, get things started by connecting to the MPC. There are Hwang Ho-jun is standing by with the rest of the Pan Mun-jeon press pool. Ho-jun, it must have been a dramatic day. What is it like now? Good evening, you guys. So, as you said, in just a few moments, a farewell ceremony for Kim Jong-un and Lee Sol-ju will place just outside the Peace House, the main venue for today's historic summit meeting. There will be a viewing of a video by President Moon and Kim, the facade of, peace of the Peace House used as a screen. The theme of the video is a new spring enjoyed together. That's, uh, we know that through uh, the President's Chief of Staff's Im jong sucks briefing a couple days ago. Uh, that was last day. And at, with that, President Moon will bid farewell to his North Korean counterpart. Uh, the ceremony is taking place immediately after the welcoming dinner hosted by the South Korean president uh, honoring uh, the visiting North Korean leader Kim Jong-un on the third floor of the Peace House. As expected, Lee Sol-ju, and, uh, Lee Sol-ju Kim Jong-un's wife, and South Korea's first lady Kim Jong-suk both attended the feast along with high officials from both Koreas. The dinner kicked off with a series of performances and dishes from the hometowns of President Moon Jae-in. Late uh, South Korean presidents Kim Dae-jung and Noh mui hyun were served. Even food from Switzerland, where Kim Jong-un spent part of his childhood, and the renowned Pyongyang-style naengmyeon, or cold noodles, were served as well. But of course, the highlight of the day came when the joint declaration was made by the two leaders, the Panmunjom Declaration. For the first time in history, uh, President Moon and Kim Jong-un held a joint press conference after signing the declaration. President Moon and Kim both declared there will no longer be war on the Korean Peninsula, and a new era of peace has begun. They pledged to cooperate to de-escalate military tension by halting all aggression of any form and to realize a complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. The agreement also says the two leaders will seek to make an official declaration of the end of war within this year. Uh, the two Koreas technically remain at war as the 1950-1953 war ended with an armistice, not a peace treaty. A reunion of separated fam families will also take place in this coming August 15th. And President Moon will also pay a return visit to Pyongyang this fall. Back to you guys.